Yo, welcome to another video. Matter of fact, a lot of you guys are new to this. Is the first time you guys are meeting me because I'm thinking about the title. This is how to record in Studio One for beginners. So, my name is Zell. You know what I'm saying? I I usually don't got to introduce myself like that, but let's let's get back to it. You know what I mean? What's up, y'all? What's up, man? My name is Zell. Um, you guys are here because you guys are new to Studio One and you guys are trying to figure out how to record. So, I don't know if you guys are transitioning from like Pro Tools, Fruity Loops, or whatever, but Studio One, that's, man, Studio One's where it's at, man. I'm trying to tell you, Studio One, it's it's the best to me. You know, it, it's going to uh, really grow and grow even more, so you're in the right place. Now, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel because you're going to get all the plug, all the, all the tips, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to make sure you guys are straight. So I'm going to show you guys how to record. Um, I'm going to do it with the vocal and I'm going to do it with the uh, keyboard. So just so you know here, I got two mics I'm using. I got my, my mic for the screen recording that I'm doing. And I got the mic for my, my vocals that I'm about to do. So um, I'm using an audio interface by Presonus, the 24C, the Studio 24C. And I got the Native Instruments Complete Control over here. So we're about to get it started. Again, like this video. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is add a track. So this is as if for, for my rappers out there or my, my singers out there who really don't uh, make beats like that. Let's just drag from wherever you're at. You can drag it from anywhere on your computer and drop. Most of everything on here is drag and drop. So, boom. Now, if I play it. You guys should be hearing that. You should be hearing that. Um, so, um, you're in there. Now, if you can't hear it, let's go to the um, preferences. Because the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your uh, Studio One preferences. Go to Studio One preferences. And make sure you can hear. So, go to your audio setup. Go to your audio device. And make sure that you got your um, audio interface plugged in. Make sure that your mic is in there and then go to playback device and you click your audio interface. So me, even though I'm using a studio 24 C I I'm, I'm doing a screen record. So that's, that's going to be headphone for me, but for you, it's uh, exactly both the same for recording device because you make sure you got your microphone plugged in straight into the audio interface. It's going to come out of that um, inter interface as well. So that's what I have set for my recording device because that's what I'm going to be using for this video um your device block size is like your loading size so it's like if you're familiar with it from like uh buffer on pro tools or uh fl studio it's it's, it's block size too i think i think it might be buffer but yeah it's buffer so if you have a really good computer you're okay somewhere between tw uh, 256 512 and somewhere right here but if you're struggling you're going to notice your computer's making noises and acting weird that's the issue so um, go to processing and then same issue if you're having it like like trip with you like the latency like if it's a delay when you're recording you're like man why is it late you got to fix the dropout protection and then uh, process precision do you have a laptop like what kind of how much power does your computer have you can check that out on your computer specs um, and then yeah so most I I'm on an iMac most iMacs are 64 bit most um, com most laptops are 32. And then, so now we're good. We're good with the audio interface and the mic. So, and now you're good. If you couldn't hear the beat before, like, I'm sure you can hear it on this video, but if you couldn't hear the beat when you followed the steps, it's because you didn't have it linked to your hardware. So now you're good. Now let's go to, um, and then make sure you click apply, okay. Then go to external device, and let's just delete this for now so you can see yours is completely empty like this. So you would go to add, and they have every single one on here, like every one. But like I said, I got the native instruments, as you could already see it there, the complete control. I got this one. So you locate it, you know exactly the name of it. It's usually on top of your keyboard. And then you find, if it's not on there, you can go to new keyboard and just type it. Uh, that, that happens sometimes. But let's go there back to my keyboard. And then you go to receive from, and I'm about to put it in to, you know, port one. It's always best to go port one. To start with that, if not, you could always go back and do port two and then port one, send to port one. So we hit OK, OK. So now we got the keyboard and we got, we're, we're good. We ready, like we, we ready. So let's, let's, uh, so let's hear the beat again. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, add a track. Let's go to up here, track. Let's go to add tracks. This is, we're gonna start with the vocals. And I'll just call these vocals. 
And then audio, because it's vocal, you want it to look like this. This is an audio track with the waves and stuff. Um, there's also instrument. There's also automation. But we're going to do the instrument. We're going to do this different. I don't, I don't normally do it like the same way I do it with this. So pay attention. Stay with me. You do the number, right? Boom, the color. But look, I pack folder. So if you have more than one, you, you pack a folder if you want to do. So like, let's just say rap vocals. This is different from your singing vocals that you have on there. Rap vocals. Let's pack that folder. You can do auto color. That's fine. Uh, mono. You don't want to record it on stereo because you could change it after you record it. But if you record it while it's on there, it's just going to be one ear. So uh, try me if you want to. Ch test that if you want to. Um, you could do it after. All right. So no preset. Otherwise, you could do a preset on there. But I mean, I don't, I don't do that. And it hit OK. So now you got a folder for your rap vocals. All these are rap vocals. If you need to add more, you just right click and duplicate. And boom, you don't got to duplicate complete. You just do it by the number. If you want to duplicate complete, if you want to duplicate complete, then it would, it would, if you recorded something, it would duplicate even what you recorded. We just want to duplicate the track, not the actual recording. So now you can see this is moving. You're like, oh, we got something going, right? We got something going. The problem is you don't hear me because I didn't hit the monitor button, but I'm going to mute this, this microphone that I got so you guys can hear. Now you guys can hear me on this microphone. So, yo, yo, yo. So now let's just do some yo's over the beat. You guys can tell I like to say yo. 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 Hey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Surfer. Shine bright. <laughs> okay. Back on the beat. Uh <laughs> nah. I ain't really like a freestyler like that, you know what I mean? But let's just play it. Yo, you might be like, how did he record? Okay, what did I do? I, I left a big thing out. So this is on. Whatever track I went on, and then I hit this. So you're probably like, yo, that was like, I hit B too. As you can see, if you look right there at the little shortcut, it says B, record B. There's shortcuts. Um, and I, I don't think it's B for you. I may, I may be my own shortcut. If you want to make it your own, go to Studio One, short keyboard shortcuts. And all I did was type in record because I want it to be easy to record and here it is record and I made B by entering B and then I signed it and then I applied and I okay so just so you know you could change up your shortcuts on your keys sorry you probably hear me two times because this was on see as long as this is off is it? so let's just go under let's hear that yo yo hey okay Shine bright, shine bright. Okay. Well, you want to hear that part? Back on the beat, up. Uh, <laughs> but it's fun, right? So that's how you do it with the vocals. Then I'm gonna just pack that up. All right. So now let's just let's add an instrument track. So now we got that. Um, we we'll go to browse. See how I didn't go to add track, right? Go to browse, and then let's go to instruments. And I got different instruments on here, but just for the sake, let's go to uh, F it, man. Let's just go to Mai Tai, Mai Tai, and let's go to uh, a, a bell. I can't just, I, I'm going to demonstrate bush, but I ain't just going to demonstrate any kind of bush. You know what I mean? So I dragged and I dropped it just like that, right? Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I hear it. I'm just triggering to make sure I hear it. So, you should hear something, right? If you want to change it, right? There's other videos, plenty of videos that can teach you how to, like, change and do the sounds that I got out there. But let's just add to this. Now, I'm going to go back to the beginning, which is stop or my shortcut, uh, comma. And same way I did it. So, this is on. If this ain't on, if I don't got the blue monitor on, I don't hear it. It still would record. It would record. But see, if I wanted to record and I hear it, Yo. it's still going to record. Yo. But I need to hear it. I know you guys get me now. All right. See, that point well proven. So let's just hear it. Yo. Yo. Hey. All right, let's do that. I'm going to take this off the quantum. I'm not teaching you how to make it. I'm just telling you how to record. So I'm, I can either press B or I'm just press this again. Now, if I want to pre, here's a, a metronome. Yo, 
Now this metronome's off. There's a whole nother video on how to. Mm, there's a whole nother video on how to find detect your BPM. There's a whole nother video that I do on how to you know yeah set your metronome to a beat that you're importing that you didn't make. It's a lot easier to do it when you when you created the beat. You know what I mean? But without further ado, let's just do it without snapping it to the grid and let's just do it. So there's no quantize. Let's take out the quantize. That's input quantized, by the way, so it's automatically quantizing. Yeah. I'm going to take off my uh, metronome. But I am going to do a four count. This is a one, two, three, four, even though it's going to be off. Yo. Yo. Hey. Okay. So. Yo. Yo. Okay, so that's that's it. You know what I mean? Um, that's it. I mean, there's really nothing else to say. I could keep going over and over and over these tracks. You could add another one. Um, let's mute this and turn this microphone on. All right, watch. Let's go record. Yo, <laughs> yo, hey, Zill. Okay, Zill. Yeah. Zill, yeah. Zill, shine bright. Woo. Okay, uh, back on the. Hey, clap. <laughs> but nah, nah. I'm just. Then if I want to cut that out, see, look me adding extra stuff. Cut that out. Go there. God, uh, just keep that tool. And bam. So, I mean, these are the very simple basics here that I just showed you guys. I just showed you guys how to how to do it. I just showed you guys how to record. Um, so have fun. But look, before you click off this video, man, like just know that I appreciate you guys first off for coming to my page. Out of all the thumbnails you guys clicked me, I really do appreciate that. My name is Zell. Zell Music, don't forget me, man. Look, what I do, for those of you guys who are really new and you guys need that, that sauce, I do consultations. I do consultations. So go to my website, zellmusic.com, and I, I book you guys. And I'm also an artist. I'm a producer. I, I work with some of the hottest artists in the game. This is what I do. Um, I, I enjoy helping you guys out too. This is what I love to do. So, um, get some consultation from me. It's a dollar a minute. Uh, we're starting at 15, 30, 45, 60, right? Uh, we'll get on Zoom and I'll actually like see you from the screen. Like, it's it's legit. And so, also, if you need help and you're an artist, you guys already know, hit me up, man. Like, I can get you guys a plug. I'm with Everyday Success Team. Don't go through them without going through me because. I'm the I'm I'm the plug. You feel me? So to make sure you guys got the right type of management. So look, man, I appreciate you guys, man. Um, this is all love, man. You guys stay with me, man. For the next video, I'm gonna keep you guys informed on what we got going, which direction we going. It's all love, man. Subscribe, peace.